Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today's video I'm going to share with you how I've been curling my little short bob. So, odds are you're either contemplating cutting your hair, you've already cut your hair and you're like, ah, going through a little mud life crisis, or you've had your hair short for a while and you feel like you just want to either learn a new technique or master a technique um, or learn something new. So, hi, that's me. I'm going to teach you that today. So I cut my hair and I'm not going to lie. I used to have really long hair. If you follow me for a while, I used to have really long hair. And then about a year ago, I cut it to about here. And then just now I decided to cut it above my shoulders for the first time since I was in like fourth grade. So it's a big change. And I'm not going to lie. When I first cut it, I was like, I hate this. And I think the reason why is just I just didn't know how to style it, to be honest with you. And I don't say you think you have to style short hair necessarily every single day, but I think it's nice to have a couple of just good techniques to fall in love with styling your hair um, when you're when you have short hair. I feel like curling short hair is harder than curling long hair. So I want to share with you my technique, walk you through how I do it. So easy, so simple. This whole like process takes me like maybe five minutes. On a camera, it takes me a little bit longer, but this is the final result. I love it. It's not your very standard stick straight ends. It's kind of got some bend to it. And yeah, I want to share with you how I do it. So what you need is a curling iron. I use this one inch curling iron that I got on Amazon for like $10, if that. <laughs> Super cheap. I have this little mat thing too. The silicone mat is amazing. If you do not have granite countertops, I have like composite in my bathrooms. So yes, you'll need a brush, basic. A clip to kind of clip up that top section of your hair. I use a little bit of hairspray to kind of give my hair some like grit and texture to it while still ensuring that it's soft. And that's it. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. I hope you guys like it. And if you want to find out how I get this look on short hair, then just keep watching. All right, let's get into it. I have my curling iron heating up my hair. This is kind of how it naturally is. Naturally. I um, washed it last night, blow dried it, slept on it. Um, my hair naturally is pretty straight. And then I wore it in a ponytail to the gym. So I did put a little bit of dry shampoo on my roots just to kind of soak up any remaining oil. I feel like, is this weird? And maybe you guys can comment and if you have the same issue, but I feel like my hair gets greasier with shorter hair than it did with longer hair, which is so wild to me, but it is what it is. So I want to share with you how I've been curling my hair. And by how I've been curling my hair the last couple of times, I'm playing around with how I like to curl it, how I like to wear it. Um, I have a couple of different hair tutorials on my channel. I'll show you them. And I will also link um, hi Winnie, my hair playlist up in the cards. I realized when I did my previous hair tutorial, a lot of people were like, your hair is not short. Girl, I know. Now I know. So before I do get started, I want to put a little something on it since my hair is pretty fine and pretty silky when I wash it. I like a little bit of hairspray to just kind of give it some texture and some grit. <laughs> I love this Kendra hairspray. I've been using it pretty much my whole life. How do I look? Beautiful, right? Okay, so I'm going to brush that through. Could also put mousse on it. I'm gonna first just start by sectioning this whole top half. I don't always do this. It just depends on the natural curl of my hair already. And but like I said, it's really just flat. The only thing that happens is this back part really does a flippy flip. But I want to share with you my technique. So I do so one inch curling iron. You want to focus on your in your sections not being this big, but being small and going down. So grabbing instead of grabbing hair that goes horizontally grabbing sections that go vertically so I go ahead and twist up towards the root hold for a couple seconds depending on how long your hair takes to curl then I go ahead and twist it out and I take and round under the rest of that curl so instead of finishing the curl, I don't finish the curl, but I go ahead and just round under the edges. 
I feel like that gives a softer look than when you just do it like sticking out straight. I know a lot of people do it that way. I just am not a huge fan of that. So go ahead and curl again. Hold it for a couple seconds. Untwist the barrel and then curl the end like that. So just basically finish the direction of which the curl would go. Clamp the hair halfway, twist up, pull down, twist. Hold for a couple of seconds. I don't unhook it. I literally just take and untwist the curl and then just finish rolling the edges. So you're still left with straight ends, but the straight ends are not like sticking down. And I don't always do the whole bottom of my head because I don't really need to. You don't really see it. So in the back, I just do a couple because we know the back of our hair is not our business. I'm kidding. So. That's what you have for the bottom layer. I don't really do anything else, but I don't love that flipping out one way or the other, so that's why I roll it. So again, on this side, you wanna take again the clamp going towards your face. Everything's going to, or sorry, everything's gonna be going away from your face, so you wanna take the piece of hair, clamp it down, roll it away from your face, hold it for a couple seconds, untwist, and pull through. Okay. again another vertical piece the bottom sections are way harder because they're just shorter which is why I don't do them a ton but I'm showing you them for the purpose of the video so again clamp and twist hold for a couple of seconds untwist and wind down okay my back pieces are like this short so like there is just no way that's happening. <laughs> I will burn myself. And once you get the hang of it, it's quite easy. So that's truly really all I do for the bottom section. I don't brush anything out. Now let's go ahead and move on to the top section. And I just kind of let it down and figure out where I want my part. I don't really know yet. Kind of grab pieces. I don't curl my entire head seamlessly like I used to. And I remember like back in the day when people would tell me that that had like short hair and I was like girl how could you not curl your whole head but when you have long hair I feel like it's so much more noticeable when you have short hair it's not so again clamp twist okay pull through untwist and just round through that edge see again take a piece Clamp it, twist, pull through, twist, untwist the rond, and go ahead. So I'm going to show it slow-mo for this piece just so you can see a little bit closer. So again, clamp the rod this way, turn away from the face. not so round and under just simply don't do that last step that I taught you it's the exact same technique okay so now that you have it done this side is cool so I'm gonna go ahead and just brush through these and there you have little loose waves and you can just see the ends are still straight but they're not like broomstick looking do you know what I mean by that they have like a bend to them so they look like they continue the curl which I enjoy that look a lot personally and you can always just look and see if you maybe forgot any pieces or there's some pieces that you want to like curl under a little bit more there you have it a very like tousled 
beachy, but still like defined and classic look. I love the look of this. All right, you guys, so that's it. That's simply how I've been curling my short hair, my bob, if you will. It's very short. I've been playing around a lot with different curl techniques. Um, if you want to see other ways that I style my hair, let me know in the comments down below. I also love to do a heated like thermal brush, round brush. I like to do a lot of different styles, but this is one of my fun ones. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I really feel like the technique of rolling it under just looks a little less broomsticky-ish. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see you in my next video real, real soon. Bye.